Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to give a shout out today to um, Hollywood um, actor Kevin Costner. He did a video um, and a speech about two years ago thanking the British Armed Forces for all they do in their fight for freedom. And thank you, Kevin Costner, for doing that. That was, it took a lot of brave and selfless courage to do so. And I know that was not politi a politically correct thing to do, but you did it anyway. And I highly respect that. So much respect. Okay, let's talk about what the British soldiers are doing in Afghanistan. Why they deserve our thanks, praise, and support. Okay? There's this T There's this TV series, but you can get it on YouTube now. It was a TV series back in 2012 called Royal Marines. The Royal Marines in Afghanistan. Okay? And the Royal Marines of 4-2 Commando... L Company, they're in this checkpoint called Toki Checkpoint, okay, and it's, the area is just about over one square kilometer, but it's one of the most dangerous areas in the world because that area is affected by landmines, so the Royal Marines have to leave the compound and go out and they got to check on the villagers, patrol the villages, make sure the villagers are not being overran by the Taliban or that the villagers are not going to be intimidated by the Taliban. Because the Taliban will come and threaten the villages if the villages and the villagers, if the villagers, people living in the village, ever talk to the Royal Marines. But the Royal Marines all had an um, interpreter from the Afghan National Army, and he talked to the villagers about how brutal the Taliban was and how the Taliban killed other Muslims. And in their, their book, the Quran, that is not acceptable to do. And... 4-2 Commando, L Company, the biggest threat they had was landmines. But the compound, or the checkpoint, Toki Checkpoint, did come under attack by RPGs as well. And the Taliban would try to bombard the compound with RPGs, but 4-2 Commando would repel the invasions. Plus, they would go out and patrol, and patrol the area and go talk to the villagers while risking being blown up by landmines. And one of the Royal Marines that got killed by a landmine was only 19 years old. He was 19 years old, and you never had to ask him twice for anything. He would always go and do for others, and when others needed or wanted something, you never had to ask him twice. That's how selfless of a guy this man was. And the, the Royal Marines are talking about the Taliban. They're way worse than some of the worst scumbag sociopaths in the UK. That That is just in reference to how low the Taliban valued life. They would get kids to do their dirty work for them. They would get little children to, the Taliban would get little children to go and scout the Toki checkpoint. And it was just sick and disgusting. So anyways, thank you British military for all you do. Thanks for being such a, trusted and good ally to the United States, and thanks for all you do and did in Afghanistan. God bless you guys. And not just Afghanistan, but as you know, World War II, the Korean War, and the World War II, Winston Churchill and Britain was one of the first countries, if not the first, to completely stand up to Nazism because Hitler was scared of Churchill and offered Churchill... Um, a treaty saying if you leave us alone let's expand the rest of Europe we will not invade England but Churchill told Hitler no he said you guys are evil I'm gonna stop you and Churchill told the people the members of parliament as also the regular British citizens he said we cannot let this kind of evil expand I can't live with myself if I don't do something to stop the evil Nazis. Well, the brave pilots in the Battle of Britain, the main plane actually there was the Hawker Hurricane, uh, but the Spitfire did an excellent job too. The Spitfire gained a lot of popularity because of its capabilities, but the Hurricane was the main plane. But those pilots, the British pilots, did amazing things. So anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.